Hey everyone, I'm Dragon Rider, Queen of Cards, and it is time to talk about the second half of the Warrior card reveals for Wizbang's Workshop. Uh, this second set of Warrior cards was revealed by Mark McKay so make sure that you check out his YouTube video, and I'll have it linked below. Uh, help support all of the other creators that have gotten these card reveals. So let's take a look at these cards here. The first one here is Safety Goggles. It is a two mana spell, gains six armor, costs zero if you don't have any armor. Okay. I mean, honestly, it seems pretty reasonable. Two mana for six armor seems pretty dang good. That's uh, the same cost as a hero power, but you get three times as much armor and potentially doesn't cost anything. So if you're a deck that wants to go for armor, this seems incredibly powerful. This works really well with Odin and trying to get armor to turn that into attack. So uh, yeah, this seems pretty great and a good resource for decks that might want to also get extra armor that aren't potentially playing excavate cards or gives a little bit of a different option for that at least. The next one we have is Bot Face. This is a nine mana, three nine legendary mech. It has taunt and after this takes damage, get two random minis. Hmm. Um. Honestly, that scares me a little bit. That seems like it definitely could give the warrior a lot of extra value potential here. And because it has taunt, you're gonna be probably forcing your opponent to actually attack into this or deal damage to it. And nine health is a decent chunk of health in terms of getting this effect more than once. So uh, this seems really powerful, honestly, in terms of getting those minis and getting extra value. It is random, so you might not get minis that you really want, or there is the potential of uh, if you want to try to capitalize on this, you're you're trying to make sure that you have hand space for that. But on the downside, your opponent could also uh, maybe just do a bunch of little pings or hit this multiple times, fill your hand with minis and cause you to overdraw, or you're just not getting the value from all of those uh, damage hits because your hand is too full. So... There does seem to be a little bit of like give and take with this, but this is a really interesting card. And I think the amount of minis that we have seen already revealed, the combinations of those minis as one attack or one health minions with the potential for Geppetto combos, like there's just so much that this card potentially has going on. And yeah, it's a little bit costly at nine mana, but... Also, with uh, the inventor boom, this can be resummoned. <laughs> like, I don't know. This seems this seems like a card that I would not like playing against on the other side. Uh, and I definitely think that this is going to be a standout card. There, there just seems to be a lot going for it and a lot of potential. So, I like it though. I think it's really cool. It's fun and. The taunt definitely gives it that added benefit uh, for making sure that you get this effect. So I think for a legendary, that seems really cool and is is awesome. So I like this one. Then the next one, we have definitely another kind of uh, callback, throwback to the patron. This one is Lab Patron. It's a four mana, three, three. This is a rare card. The first time you gain armor each turn, summon another lab patron. So they are limiting the amount of lab patrons that you can uh, get each time because it's only the first time that you gain armor each turn. So it's not like every time you gain armor, you're going to be filling your board with these. And we also got the reveal of the sweet signature card from Mark as well. So we see the lab patron uh, signature version here as well, which this one... Like, he's rushing forward, I feel like. like. I don't know. It just seems really cool. It's very different, like, art style than the first one. Um, but, yeah, I, I really like how so far the signature cards that we've seen have kind of uh, been more of, like, an action toy style art. As opposed to just, like, the variation uh, being, like, maybe unrelated or seemingly unrelated to the first card. They're, they're kind of playing into the theme 
of these like toys and and kind of they're kind of like action action figures i don't know i like it uh and then we have an epic spell chemical spell it is five mana summon the highest cost minion from your hand then deal five damage to it this honestly this scares me a little bit uh (laughs) with the like a bot face and as well the uh card that we saw earlier that you can check out in the video linked above there is there's a lot of mechs there's a lot of like high health minions there are death rattles that you're already going to want to be working on you know um putting the health down on your death rattle minions the bot face gets advantage of this like i don't know i just i think chemical spill is really powerful in the right decks this is definitely not going to be a card that's just like thrown into every warrior deck right like you're, you're going to want to actually have higher cost minions in your deck when you build this but the potential for it is really cool there's i i think a lot of different things that can be done with this um it does mean though that the way that this is going to have to be built in terms of like the deck building to use this card in the most advantageous ways will be things like uh using spells and other like weapons things like that to fill in kind of the lower curve of the deck and then probably trying to really have most or all of your minions be in that five or higher cost Uh, because you definitely wouldn't want to play this in a deck where you have a lot of like three cost things or something where you're paying five mana to summon a three mana thing from your hand and then probably instantly kill it. Unless there is some nutty thing that that someone comes up with in future expansions, I don't think that's going to be the route that people want to go. So it's a really cool card. I am a little (laughs) bit worried about uh, the kind of potentials that can come out from this, but I that that deck, I don't know, at least my initial like thoughts on this, just seeing it immediately... um, is things like, well, we kind of had like big demons and we kind of had some synergies like that in a couple different decks, right? Like uh, the big demon, demon hunter decks. There was a warlock deck that kind of did something like this, Um, not dealing damage to it necessarily, but like kind of this mid game, um, mid cost card that pulled something else out of your hand. So that's why I say it does worry me a little bit because those decks, did did okay when when they were around in standard but they didn't really last long or they didn't really have kind of enough oomph to to always kind of get there in the end they did need a little bit more support so right off the bat maybe this doesn't do a lot maybe there still needs to be a little bit more support for this to actually kind of be more of a full cohesive deck and not just like something that you would put in. But the card itself, I like this flavor. I think this is a really cool card and definitely something that people will want to actually build the deck around. This is definitely like a build around card. So I think this is really interesting. Uh, But let me know what you think of these last warrior reveals in the comments below. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to check out my full playlist of all the reveals for Wizbang's Workshop. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.